probably from this season. But um, who knows when. But we're gonna sit here until dark. Um, kind of hunting in this little urban area. Um, I walked, took me about an hour and a half to walk back here and get set up. Just cause of how slow I had to walk. A lot of the leaves were crunchy. And I just wanted to take uh, kind of the long way around because of the wind but uh the, on top of this ridge the wind keeps swirling like crazy but um that's just the georgia wind that i'm kind of getting used to we'll see hopefully we can get it done this afternoon set back up in here kind of in this uh, another little urban area um, super crunchy walk in it's real warm out today it's like 63 degrees right now um, walking on this ridge line in came up to uh, close to a spot where I sat last night and uh, and uh, Actually, since it was so crunchy, I kicked up about 10 dough that were bedded right around here. Um, which kind of sucks, but it's alright. It's kind of a smaller area, so they might be back. I got up pretty high. I'm almost 25, 26 feet up in this open pine. There's not much cover up here, but we're going to make it work. season the 2020 slash 21 season will come to an end after this uh, down here in Georgia it's just before four o'clock and I just finally got set up I've got just over two hours left of light um, nothing really been moving during the middle of the day so I chose to come out here a little later uh, and kind of do some walking around um, 
as soon as I got to the ridge next to where I parked, I actually jumped a real nice buck. Um, he looks super tall, pretty wide, um, but he didn't run off too bad. Uh, he kind of stopped after about 70 yards and then uh, stood there for a little while. Um, I didn't know he was there still. Uh, I started walking and he started moving off again, but it kind of looked like he, uh, he would have come down through the direction that I came in here. Uh, but I did a big, big loop around to hopefully not kick anything up. And uh, I sat up on this saddle um, about a month, probably a month and a half ago now. And uh, right before dark or right at last light, uh, I had a group of deer come in pretty low, uh, right about where I'm set up right now. And they came in and cut across and went into these uh, tall pines. But uh, right here on this little transition zone, um, looks like from bedding to bedding, uh, one's down low, one's up high. Uh, so we're about medium level right here. So I'm hoping that they'll walk in and uh, just come through here. It's kind of a shot in the dark. It's my Hail Mary pass uh, for the end of the season sit. Uh, buddy Andrew said he saw a real giant 10 point uh, about 10 15 feet from him. Uh, only problem is, is that where we're hunting right now, we actually cannot shoot our bows from the ground. Um, it's the it's the unfortunate part of where we are. Um, but it's just one of the trade offs. So we're gonna we're gonna sling this football, see how far we can get it. Hopefully we can score before the night's over, so here we go.
All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for the 2020 slash 21 season here on uh, on our public land that we hunt down in Georgia. So from uh, from everyone at RNG Outdoors, uh, it's been a heck of a run. Uh, good season. We're going to have a long off season ahead of us. Lots of prep work that we've got. Um, got lots of minerals to... Uh, established we're going to have a lot of how-to videos a lot of what our setups are going to be looking like and uh and uh yeah we're going to be doing a lot of hog hunting and a lot of turkey hunting so hopefully y'all can stay tuned um had a great night tonight even though we couldn't close the deal uh we were still able to see about probably anywhere from 10 to 15 deer uh three nice little bucks came in right before last light and just uh, worked out where they stayed just out of range. Um, just couldn't get a shot there about 50, 60 yards away. But, uh, just no shots. But I'm telling you, man, if you do not hunt deer or you do not saddle hunt, you need to. If you don't film, you should because the challenge, the challenge it creates for you up in the tree is so much fun. Now, I love hunting. I love sitting here and enjoying the outdoors but giving myself a new challenge uh just makes it that much more interesting and that much more fun up here in the tree so i appreciate y'all for following us uh dave mike and andrew and myself we thank you guys for uh following us this season and we'll uh we'll bring y'all some more uh hunting videos here soon so thanks again